Xperia XZ2 review, new look, new features but ultimately Sony's phone lacks perfection. The Sony Xperia XZ2 is the latest smartphone to join its lineup of devices and, with a new design and updated features, there's plenty to like but can it compete with its Android rivals? Here's our full Xperia XZ2 review. Sony Xperia XZ2 review Pros, glorious display improved design over previous Xperia devices good battery life fast Qualcomm 845 processor cons, awful fingerprint scanner placement bloatware galore feels heavy in your pocket still no edge to edge screen Sony is finally sprucing things up and it's about time. The new Xperia XZ2 is the latest smartphone to arrive from the Japanese technology firm and, with a refreshed design, it certainly has plenty going for it. This update device is one Sony needs to get right especially as the Android competition continues to get bigger, bolder and, in some cases, a lot cheaper. So is this finally a device that can rival the likes of the Galaxy S9 and OnePlus 5T? Express.co.uk has been putting the Speria XZ2 through its paces and here's our full review. Design Speria fans will be pleased to see something a little different from Sony. The Speria XZ2 certainly has plenty of appeal with soft curves and smaller bezels replacing the chunky square design that has graced the Sony brand since 2013. It's a huge improvement and, with an all-glass and striking glossy finish, the XZ2 is sure to be popular with its loyal fan base. We genuinely like the XZ2 as it looks premium, feels comfortable in your hand and is clearly very well built. But there are some design niggles that simple can't be overlooked. Firstly, unlike most of its rivals, Sony still hasn't managed to get the screen to cover the entire front of the phone. This means there's a fairly hefty bezel at the top and bottom of the device. Sony's latest phone is also strangely heavy, in fact at almost 200 grams it's over 20 grams heavier than the iPhone X, a device that also features a larger display. This weight does give the XZ2 a solid feel but it's worth knowing that it won't subtly squeeze in your jeans. Finally there's possibly the worst design decision we have ever seen and it's all down to the new rear-mounted fingerprint scanner. Sony has moved this sensor to the back of the phone which isn't a massive issue. However, what is a problem is the size, shape, and position of the scanner. Bizarrely, Sony's design team have identically matched the sensor's design with the camera and placed it right underneath the XZ2S lens. We can't tell you how many times we have tried to unlock the phone by popping our finger right on the camera which is hugely irritating and also leaves a greasy mess all over it. The main problem with the placement is the fact that the natural place for the scanner is exactly where the camera has been positioned. It's a very odd decision from Sony and one that's hard to forgive them for. Display and Performance There may be some major niggles with the design but there's really nothing bad to say about the XZ2S display. This 5.7-inch HDR Full HD and screen is absolutely stunning with content looking pin sharp, vibrant, and packed full of color. Sony is offering a viewing experience that's up there with the best of them and it's even got some clever tech meaning almost everything you watch will look better than ever. Using Sony's Bravia X Reality for mobile, the XZ2 will up convert content to near high dynamic range, HDR so even when you're streaming standard videos you get better quality playback. This works well and certainly gives this phone a slight edge over its rivals. If we had one complaint it would be the virtual home button at the bottom of the screen which, unlike the XZ2S rivals, doesn't disappear. This means a large area is taken up with this small button which becomes more of a distraction the more you use the phone. Overall the display is excellent and that's matched by the XZ2S performance. With Qualcomm's latest and greatest Snapdragon 845 processor tucked inside, this is one of the most powerful Android smartphones money can buy. This means the user experience is phenomenally slick with the device breezing through tasks without breaking a sweat. If you can find a mobile operator who can supply it, 
the XZ2 is also capable of lightning fast connection speeds, up to 1.2 Gbps, with the second generation Gigabit LTE. Camera Sony isn't following the smartphone trend for dual cameras. Instead there's just one rear motion eye camera placed, where the fingered scanner should be, right in the middle of the rear case. It's a strange decision not to push the photographic boundaries especially with firms such as Hawaii Eye now including three rear snappers on their latest flagship. Luckily the single camera still performs well and has some neat feature which you won't find on any other phone. This includes 4K HDR movie recording, the first time this has been seen in a smartphone. Shooting in this mode will produce some incredible results but it's worth noting that you'll only get the best experience if you own a 4K HDR ready television. Another added bonus is that Sony has upgraded its super slow motion recording which now means the 960 frames per second footage gets full HD quality. Samsung and Hawaii I have both followed Sony with 960fps recording but only allow it in 720p resolution. Another upgrade on the XZ2 is its 3D scanning capabilities which now come to the front-facing camera. 3D Creator uses the cameras, and some clever software, to produce renders of your face which can then be 3D printed or used in a number of apps. It's a nice idea from Sony but in reality it's all a bit of a waste of time. Firstly, scanning your friends and family isn't that easy with the lighting needing to be perfect to get the ideal render. Then there's the question of what you do with it once you've managed to get the scan. Yes you can send it away to have a 3D model made or pop it on characters which can then be viewed in augmented reality, but these really are gimmicks and it's not a reason to buy the XZ2. Luckily although the scanning isn't a top feature the camera certainly is. For photography there's an improved rear motion eye camera which has been created using Sony's knowledge from its award-winning Alpha and CyberShot camera ranges. All the pictures we snapped had plenty of detail with good color and contrast. There's also a new predictive capture which is able to automatically buffer images when it detects action or even a smile. Once the shutter button is tapped, the XZ2 will give you a selection of images before and after, so you can pick the best shot. And to help improve images even further a technology called autofocus burst intelligently follows your subject adjusting the focus to make sure your action shots stay sharp. Pictures from the XZ2 continue Sony's impressive photography form and, whilst we're not convinced it's as good as some of its rivals, there's still plenty going for it. Android Aria Sony has been providing Android Aria on its devices for a while and the XZ2 comes with this latest Google software straight out of the box. This means you get all the latest features and security updates from the internet giant. Sadly, Sony continues its quest to load its devices with unwanted apps and bloatware which it simply needs to stop. Many other manufacturers, such as HTC and Nokia, are now offering a pure Android experience and it's about time Sony did the same. Yes you can delete the pre-installed shopping and social media apps but they shouldn't be there in the first place. Battery Sony's batteries have always performed well and the XZ2 continues this tradition. This new device will easily get you through a day and beyond. Tucked inside the glass shell is a 3180mAh battery and, with Qualcomm's 845 processor also incredibly efficient, the XZ2 is beating many of its Android rivals in tests. Speria's useful battery features are also included such as Smart Stamina, Stamina Mode, plus Battery Care and Knovo Adaptive Charging Technology which help the battery stay healthy to give you a longer battery lifespan. This is also the first Speria to include wireless charging so you can instantly refill it using any compatible Qi chargers. Price The XZ2 is a flagship phone so expect to pay premium prices. This phone costs £699 SIM-free with contracts starting from £39 per month. 
At that price it's not cheap but it's certainly a little less expensive than the new £739 Galaxy S9 or £1000 iPhone X. Bonus Features and Something That's Missing Probably the biggest new feature is the XZ2S ability to vibrate like a PlayStation controller. This dynamic vibration system allows the phone to add an extra dimension when playing games and watching movies. In reality it's a bit of fun to start with but does become mildly annoying if you use it for too long. Luckily you can easily reduce the vibration or turn it off altogether, simply by pressing the volume button, if it's not enhancing your experience. Along with buzzing like a very frustrated bee the XZ2 also features some audio highlights including powerful front-facing stereo speakers and high-resolution audio compatibility. Sadly there's also something that's missing. Sony has followed Apple, Google and HTC by ditching the headphone port. If you own a pair of wireless headphones you clearly won't miss this socket but it will be hugely irritating for audiophiles who have just treated themselves to some expensive wired cans. Verdict There's no question that the Speria XZ2 is a very good smartphone. Sony has created a device that looks good, is well built, powerful and packed with features including that stunning screen. The camera is also decent enough and its battery is hugely impressive. Clearly there's plenty to like but the XZ2 is not perfect. The fact Sony still hasn't managed to fully stretch the screen across more of the device and not include a dual lens camera is baffling. All of its rivals are now including these features and means Sony's new design already feels slightly outdated. Then there's that fingerprint scanner. How nobody at Sony realized that it's in totally the wrong place is beyond us and the fact the camera lens has been placed where your finger naturally sits makes this design choice even worse. Overall the XZ2 is a huge improvement and there will be plenty of Sony fans who are simply going to love it. It's just a shame that the missing dual camera and design niggles mean it misses out on the full 5 stars.